Boulder. You excited to go on a trip? You excited to go to Georgia? Go to the mountains for the first time? Are you excited to go camping in the car? Well, hello my dudes and welcome to me going on a road trip by myself with my dogs. There's Boulder and there's Pebble. I'm actually currently in Georgia. I am three and a half hours into a six and a half hour drive, so I'm about halfway. I need to go stop for gas. I completely missed getting a video of the sunset ah, because my camera was in the back of the car. Although I did, I did, I did, I did get a picture. Hold on, let me, let me show you real quick. It's really good. It might not be that good if I can't find it. Oh yeah, here's one. Yeah, let's see how this translates. Yeah, there you go. There's the sunset. I mean, it was gorgeous. See? I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I was like, God, you be painting again. Putting all this to shame. Anyway, so I have three and a half hours. Once I get in the general area, then I'll find the place that I'm gonna park because the park is already closed. Okay, well, I will see you when I show you the whole thing set up. Woo! Not, <laughs> I just, paid $1.99 for gas and I got 11 cents back on my my gas app so <laughs> okay sorry now you can see it good morning and welcome to Columbus Georgia that's where I am right now it's a lot colder here than I was expecting I did not plan well it's like 50 some degrees but it says it feels like 48 outside according to the Google so, <laughs> the doggos have been shivering quite a bit, right Pebble? Yeah, right? Thankfully, I brought sweaters for both of them. Here's what I have going on here. So I put bungee cords all the way around the outside the uh, roof area thing. And then I just clippied these up here. It was fun driving here. By the time I was going like in the mountains, it was already dark. But there were so many signs for warning, bridge may be icy, and I was like, ah! Where am I? Yay! So that was cool. And I'm into my ER onesie. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Oh, your nose is so cold. You look like it. Ready? Ooh. I don't want to get up. <laughs> I do because I want to go hiking, but it's actually really comfortable in here. I don't mind it. Oh, before I went to bed last night, there was this really scary moment that I felt like something on the roof, like making a crap ton of noise. I look out the window, just above here, there was a cat on my car and I was just like, well, I guess they live in Georgia too. <laughs> I ended up getting here about 11.30 last night. I didn't even know this place was here. Like I Googled campgrounds around here. This place wasn't even on the map, but I was just driving and I saw this big sign for camping and so I turned around because I was headed to a Walmart, but I just didn't want to sleep in a parking lot. And so when I saw that, I was like, ooh, that looks good. And then I came in here and it was, a, it was a cute little place. The plan for today is go to Flat Rock Park and go on a hike there and then go to Providence Canyon Park. I'm excited to see that. I should really get up. <laughs> Look at this, it's fall here. Flat rock. The rocks are slippery when wet. <gasps> oh my, I like this. This is neato, cognito. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's the stairs I saw in the pictures. Ah, I'm so excited. <gasps> wow, I am excited. We've made it to where we're gonna go. Guys, are you so excited? Boulder! Pebble? Yeah? You excited? Alright, let's do this thing. <laughs> Welcome to Flat Rock Park. I thought it was fitting to bring Pebble and Boulder. What I think is really interesting is how imaginative Georgia is with its parts. Stone Mountain, Flat Rock. 
They're pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> in front of me too? No? Wow, very naturally occurring. This is the third pair of shoes, fourth pair of shoes I've seen. What? what? How do you just forget your shoes? do this twice because my video didn't work look at this place they have it all okay they have crap ton of stairs that you can fall on and injure your hand totally screwed that up screw this hand up too Funny, I know, hilarious. I just want you guys to realize this is not a regular staircase. You can see it has little landings that are two, and I didn't really pay attention before I tried running up. But then there's two right in a row, and then here's a landing, two, and then a landing, and then another landing, and then this one landing, this one landing, landing, landing. It doesn't make sense. Who made this? I mean, but you have the stairs right here. Got some little mountainy stuff. And then over there, I don't know, can you see it? Yeah, there's the waterfall right there. And you got this cute little brook. And this beautiful thing. Bridge! It's called a bridge. We've been having a good time so far. It's really hard to take pictures of yourself with two dogs. It's beautiful. The trees are starting to turn yellow. You can't really see it in the video. But it's beautiful here, man. I love it. watch that that's gonna be cool we just walk we just climbed all the way up there all three of us how cool is that oh I should do a push-up on it somehow
If you're wondering, the reason I just did that twice was because when I recorded it on my phone, it only got like two of the push-ups in it. Let's see if this worked. Yeah, it's close enough. Don't you just hate it when you are on a trip by yourself with your two dogs in the mountains to have a lot of fun and then you get some bad news and it just kind of throws you off completely. I just, I feel like no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, it's just, Nothing will ever be simple. It'll never be easy. And I know that we're not promised easy. In fact, we're promised that in life as a Christian, we will have hardships, but you know what? I, I expected to get a break at some point, I guess. I'm just tired. Pebble, you having fun? <laughs> I am honestly shocked at how many different s sets of steps they built here. You're on an island! Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Are you stuck? You're really not stuck. You can get over here really, really easily. Oh, he's he's gonna jump in the water. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, oh no, he's gonna take a drink. Good boy, Boulder. What are you doing? I'm so tempted to just take my shoes off, but it's really, it would be really cold, I'm sure. Guys, it's fall. Come to this corner. All right, come here. Come on, the same way I did it. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! All by Ready? Here we go. We did it! What you do on the side of a big rock, you'll play. Come here! <laughs> oh, Boulder, don't be stupid. Oh, he's just, just uh, drinking some water. Gonna jump. One, two, three! Whoa, good job! Come on, let's go! Your turn, let's go, let's go! What, what? <laughs> Come here, come here. Oh no, your leash is soaking wet now. Oh gosh, it is. Ready, set, jump! jump. Oh, or go completely. <laughs> oh no, your sweater's gonna be soaked. Trying to make you into a mountain dog with creeks and stuff. You're not a mountain dog yet? That's okay. Look guys, I have hiking dogs. Boulder's a hiking dog. Pebbles a hiking dog, and we're having hiking fun. Do a little bit of leave change. Boulder is leading the way. The boulder seems conflicted as to what direction we should go. The boulder has decided to turn right. The boulder seems conflicted about this tree branch. The boulder takes a few hefty steps. The pebble doesn't know what she's doing. Whoa, boulder's branching out. <laughs> Branch. Super weird that they're hiking in clothes. The boulder is now naked. Look away, ladies. Oh my gosh, so indecent. Pebble! Right, much bigger dogs have come before us. Hopefully it was a dog. Go, go, go. <laughs> There's a big muddy puddle. <laughs> right?
right, nice boulder, just jump right out. All right, Pebble, you got this. Whoa, yeah, you do. Ugh. Wow, I just used both of them to get, hoist myself out of there. Why is it that just a simple lake looks prettier here? Maybe it's because there's fall leaves surrounding it. Wow, look at all this red clay. It's like wearing <laughs> Gotta start that bit all over again. Wow, look at all that red clay. It's like we're in Georgia or something. <laughs> <laughs> you had a bath before we came, but you're definitely gonna need a bath when we get home. It honestly amazes me the difference that a six and a half hour drive makes. Is this the most mountainous area? No. But at the same time, this is way better than Florida. Here. Let's go down here. Careful boulder. <laughs> we are currently out on a boulder with a boulder. And I am eating some food. Wow. Yes, yes, I know you want some. No. Stop it. <laughs> Go away. So I'm eating some wild caught salmon. Isn't that just wild, guys? <laughs> if you want this, give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he normally doesn't lick me, he just boops my nose. He straight up licked my entire, this area. Mouth? There it is, that's the word. Here, do you want this? Eat off the spoon like a good boy. Yes. That was dangerous. You can ask any of my friends, I'm a sharer. Oops, there goes my phone. Did you hear that? Put a boom. This is really close. Is this... Does this make you guys feel uncomfortable when you're this close to my face? Boulder, if you kill yourself, why are you the way that you are? It's not worth it. Your life is too precious. Dude, <clears throat> people need to stop just throwing their trash wherever the heck they want. Stop it. And if you feel convicted by me saying that, it's probably because you're one of those people. But uh, look, I found a couple leaves. Aren't they pretty? It's fall. <laughs> you hear that? I squawked and then a bird squawked. I think I said something offensive because they're not talking to me again anymore. Good boy. Come on, Pebble. I found another leaf and some flowers. Come here, Pebble. I know you can do it. Mommy's got you. Good girl. Ready, set, jump. Woo, good job. Hi, right, Boulder, come on. Let's go. There we go. We're learning how to jump today. <laughs> or how to lay down. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. That's fine. You're not comfortable, you're not comfortable. It's okay. a cool place to visit, huh? Want more? You, Pebble, you have a good time? I know I did. We were here five hours. That's a long time. But it was good. I mean, the drive was six and a half hours. Now we're headed to Providence Park. We excited. We'll see some canyons. Providence Canyon. 
we are currently on our way down to La Cañon. And as you can tell, I only have one dog. Right, Pebble? <laughs> I know that there's like railings and everything, but the idea of the canyon kind of freaked me out with her. Because I know that Boulder can climb. He gets better footing than she does. She's not super great on her feet. You know what I mean? Place closes at 6. It's currently 4.30. I'm going to be back up here at 5.45, the latest. So we have an hour and 15 minutes. I did have to stop at the gift shop. Shh. That was very whistly. Gift shop. Shh. Shh. Gift shop. I honestly think I have like a whistle when I talk. I've been noticing it recently. I'm going to need hoozle. I had to stop at the gift shop. Got myself a hoodie and a couple stickers because, you know, I'm not spending a bunch of money on food because I brought all my food from home and gas so far has been like 30 bucks. So really a cheap trip because I'm not, you know, paying for housing or anything. It's just me and the doges. Before I chose to come here, I actually looked it up and apparently this isn't a naturally occurring canyon. What happened was when people settled here about 200 years ago, they wanted to start growing cotton and they didn't know how sandy the terrain was. And so when they started trying to grow, grow their cotton, it destroyed the top layer. Throughout the last 200 years, the rain has been washing away part of the canyon. And apparently each year they lose three feet, which is a lot. That's pretty extensive. That's an entire toddler. So there's some little fun facts. You can fat check me. I just watched a video, but I thought that was pretty neat to know a little bit more about where I was going and what I was doing. This is, whew, like we're going down into a canyon or something. We are currently headed to canyons one through three. I felt really bad that I didn't let Pebble walk because like for the most part, we're just on flat ground with a crap ton of trees around us. With the fall ever, everywhere. <laughs> but then I saw the trail that we we're walking on. It's literally running water the whole way. And you know, Boulder is a little bit easier to clean than Pebble is. Like she got, she got fuzzy little feet. That would have just been a mess and a half. I would have had to bathe her. <sighs> so it's actually, it's best that you're back there. And we did, we had this, this, these two ladies walking by us and they're like, oh, that's cute and everything, seeing Boulder. And then she saw Pebble poke her little head out and she's like, oh my gosh, <gasps> look. That was not planned, honestly. Here's another one. Dude, this is crazy, man. It's straight up, it's a canyon. I'm in a canyon, guys. I've been to a plethora of canyons in my lifetime, but I've never been in said canyon before. This is pretty, this will make a pretty picture. Oh, that's my face, that's not a pretty picture. There we go. The fall colors are way more prominent here. Like, look at that. Beautiful fall. You ready, Mr. B? Oof. Go, go, go. Ah. All right, come on, let's go. This is difficult with an extra 15 pounds on your back. All right, go Boulder, go. Go on. See, this I would not trust Pebble to do. That is beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. It's beautiful. What can Yin, I say, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, I mean look at, just look at the detail. Hi, you having fun? The boulder seems hesitant. Boulder, let's go, go on. easier to go a little bit off-roading. You don't have to worry about the little pack. The little, the little one in the back. Although I do wish she could see a little better. <laughs> see, on the back it's not quite as noticeable and so I feel a lot more like one of those crazy dog moms.
<laughs> it's fine. There's no one here to judge me. Right? How do you feel? your weekend boom <laughs> wait where's the other canyon oh no we passed it we want to go into the other canyon <sighs> this is good I can't get over this man we need to get another picture of the three of us together but now with the papoose on the front you take so much from me mm. I love you <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor, 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 poor child. Which direction shall we go? The road not yet traveled. <laughs> Gotta get Pebble in there too. <laughs> this is good. Oh, I'm having a great time. This is awesome. I've never tried putting her on the front of this before because the only thing I've ever used it for is when I go on a bike ride and I take her with me and she's always on my back because I'm leaning over riding the bike. Ah, got my shoe all wet. Oh, my soul. I think Boulder thinks he's a little thicker than he actually is. Come on, go. Go on, you can make it. You got it. <laughs> oh, maybe he is too thin. Hold on, let me see if I can make it. And if I can make it, you can certainly make it. Oh, 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 barely. Whoa, look at you, my mountain dog. Boulder, you are not only a mountain dog, but you are also a canyon dog. Because we are in a canyon. And it's also kind of mountainous. Because we went to a mountain earlier. But now we're on a canyon. Boulder, you're doing so good. We have come quite far up. It's very steep here because it's the side of a canyon. Boulder, Mr. Stone. Hey, you wanna go back down? There's not really much else where we can go right now. My hands are getting very dirty. And so are my pantaloons. Times like these, right now, when this was a good idea. Also, I can use her to lean back with while it's going down. Woo! Okay. But then there's also a lot more pressure. If I fall and kill myself, I will also fall and kill my dog. Which is not my favorite thing to do. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at this. These leaves are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Boulder. Mm. He's so fast. But he also has two more legs than I do. Well, actually right now I have two more legs than he does. <laughs> All right, you know what they say. If you can't have fun by yourself, you can't have fun with other people. But <laughs> this is a very sturdy branch. Good job, Boulder. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. I can't wait to watch that again. There have been a lot of videos I've taken that I'm like, that's gonna be fun for me to watch. Go on, you got this, my little mountain pooch. Come on, we're almost there. Come on. Oh, you good? Good job. Wow, dude, to have claws, man. Oh, I like the little guy just hanging out. Oh, this is a workout. Oh, oops. I feel like they could have put that a little sooner. Maybe in bright orange letters from the top? No one's gonna start from the bottom. There, there, Pebble. There, there. Oh my gosh. 
it's so beautiful. I might draw like a kindergartner in the sand, but at least my message is great. Woo! You know what's my favorite part about this? Ready? <laughs> ears. <laughs> squirrels. Bodo when he looks at squirrels. Pebble when she looks at squirrels. The canyons are very fragile. Climbing is illegal and prohibited. You guys didn't see anything, did you? Because I, I didn't see anything. Love that it's fall here. That even down the tree it's fall. Can I just ask a question? What the heck is up with this walkway? You know, a town with absolutely nothing, like here in Lumpkin, of course, they have a Dollar General. <laughs> There's literally nothing but two barbecue shops right across the street from each other, and then a Dollar General. Like seriously, how has Dollar General had the monopoly on literally everything? But I will say this is a cute little town. There's literally nothing going on here. Is there a possibility that I could fall in love with a random stranger who helps me when my car breaks down? No, this is not a Hallmark film, thank you very much. But the architecture looks like it. Lumpkin drugs. <laughs> Junk and treasures. Wow, that's, that's a way to... Drugstore museum? What? So that's a cute house. Look at that. Look at this architecture. It's beautiful. Turn right onto Cherry yeah. Street. What? I mean, look at this. This place has such cool architecture. They even have a gas. 185? Is it worth it to stop for gas if you're at half a tank and it's 185? This isn't right. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to drive in a small town. I mean, I did come from a small town, but didn't look like this. This looks way cooler than my town. My town just like has a whole bunch of crap ton of nothing. Whole bunch of crap ton. Alrighty. I just stopped at Granny's lunchbox. It was pretty cool. I got a snow cone for the first time in a hot minute. And by a hot minute, I mean many, many years. It's been many years. When was the, the last time that I had one? Dude, man, I don't even know, dude, man. I don't even know, dude, man. I'm going to give you guys like a little bit of a, hey, this is what I do a lot of times when I, I do this, I do this thing on my Instagram. I'll have a spoon. How the heck am I supposed to eat my snow cone? So anyway, back to what I was saying. On my Instagram, I do this thing where I do reviews of like foods or drinks or something and people think, think it's funny. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a, a taste of it. I'm gonna be doing it between you and my phone because I'm still gonna do it on my phone because I like doing them for my Instagram. You guys like this little thing? Maybe I can do it on my channel. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna start now. Well, hello my dudes and welcome to the time of the day that nobody asked for but I want. When I review random things, I just went to Granny's Lunchbox, this really cute place. I got a snow cone! Play a whole game, get a whole snow cone. Play half game, still get a whole snow cone. Got strawberry. Mmm. Ice and sugar. I gotta be really honest with you guys, the reason I chose strawberry was because it was red. 
and I really don't want like a blue tongue. See? Those are the decisions you start making when you're an adult. Will my tongue turn blue or green? If the answer is yes, then don't choose that thing. I am so very popular. I didn't realize. Huh? I think it's really funny that I'm talking about the maturity of which color will turn your tongue <laughs> the worst, but then I also bought a snow cone. <laughs> I don't know. You know when it's cold and you just want something else cold to eat? Because that happens to me anytime it gets cold in Florida. I want to go outside, eat ice cream. But I think it's because when I was a kid, my dad had this VW Rabbit. It was a convertible. And all five of us would climb in there. I'd be back seat, middle, if you're on the hump. But all five of us would go super bundled up on a cold night to moonlight and we'd get ice cream. Why am I crying? I guess that's why I love eating a cold sweet when it's cold outside. Because it reminds me of when things were simpler. A time when family was unified. We were all in the same place. I miss it. I miss my family. But this trip has been really good for me. It kind of helped me realize that if things don't go the way that I plan, they never do. But I mean like long term, I'm gonna be okay. Dude, this small town, people just keep honking at each other. Like they drive by and people honk and they wave. This is like the stereotypical small town and I love it. I am so here for it. Mm. My food is definitely getting warm. It's not getting warm, it's getting cold. <laughs> I just got a hankering for barbecue. I got a pulled pork sandwich, but without the buns because I'm good and stuff. And I also got fries. So here's to the fries. Is it the best pulled pork I've ever had? Probably not. But I just really wanted a warm meal. And I wanted it from a small town. I didn't want to go to like McDonald's or something for this meal. And it's good. The more I eat this, the more I really like it. Well, I'm gonna finish eating. And my battery is getting low. So I will see you on the flip side. What? 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 What are those? What is that? Anybody know what that is? I don't know what that is. They look like they're from a horror movie. City of Lumpkin. Crazy man. What the heck is that? Alright, that's creepy. Gotta go.
next time I'm gonna make it a longer trip because driving up there only spending one day and then driving back is not satisfying. Granted I did have a really good time. And a really good time. Would I do it again? Heck yeah. Faux show. Oh look. Another sign. Florida welcomes me. How sweet. I hope they go welcome themselves. I think it's interesting that we literally just pulled into Florida. The first thing I do when I get out of the car is shed my sweater and my flannel. Not only is it flat, it's also a lot warmer and I don't like it. Hmm. That is the end of my footage. I took over three hours. It might have been four. It honestly might have been four. There was a lot of footage there. So you guys should be uh, so proud of me by the fact that I eventually got this video out. Like I said in the description box, it was back at the end of October 2020 that I recorded this video and took this trip. As you can tell, I'm slightly different uh, hair-wise. Just chopped it off, made a video about that. I might post it in the next six months, who knows? <laughs> I should really get better at posting more often. See, I love recording videos for you guys, but the editing process is just like, bleh, it's not my favorite. So if you guys wanna edit my videos. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed going on that trip with me. I honestly had such a good time. If you guys wanna see me traveling anymore, I'm honestly just ready to go travel. Go far, go wide, go a lot. So if you wanna see it, let me know in the comment section below. I've been thinking about doing movie reviews because I don't see a lot of like Christian perspective on movies. And I thought that that could be fun to add into my repertoire. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, subscribe to me, that big red button. And once you hit that, there should be a bell that shows up. And if you wanna get notified when I post, you can just jingle that bell. I haven't done an outro in a hot minute and I think everybody who's watching this can tell. <laughs> Follow me on my social medias. I'm mostly on Instagram. I mean, I'm on Facebook too, but Follow me. How often do you hear people say that? Only on YouTube, I feel like. That's the only place that people are like, follow. Everywhere else is socially unacceptable. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave you guys with that, alright? And I will see you on the flip side. Love you so much. Bye!